How's it going? Centerpoint Securities here, bringing you another tip video using the DOS trading platform. Today we're going to be taking a little closer look at the level 2 order entry window or the montage. Um, you can see the one I have down here in the bottom right hand of the platform. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is the security that you can load up here. So for example, if I change between anything in this drop down menu, you can see Facebook loaded there. Or you can type in anything you'd like and have it immediately loaded in the montage window. Um, so the next thing you'll notice is the tick you have here, high and low price, previous close price, volume, last price, different things like that. Down below is going to be where you want to edit or change the order that you're trying to execute. So you can see the default settings we have loaded here. To change those, you can easily uh, change the amount of shares using the up and down arrows or just by typing in whatever you'd like into that box. The display price, so the shares shown on the book, the price that you can set here. Um, your account, time and force, and your route. One thing to point out about the route is that if you're trying to trade at market price, go ahead and select a route with an M at the end. If you're trying to uh, trade at a limit price or set a limit price, go ahead and select a, uh, a route with an L at the end. So you can see the different ones that you have here from the drop down menu. To get a full list of these routes right here and a full description of what they are and what they mean, uh, as well as a price list, um, go ahead and contact us. We'll be happy to give that to you. Um, good defaults to point out, though, is this ARCSL and ARCSM. Those are just good, um, easy to start with default routes right there, reliable. So to set your defaults for the montage window, what you want to do is come down here and just right-click in any of these gray areas. I'll just come down here between the buttons where it's blank right here in this blank space and right-click and go to Order Template. This order template is going to pull up your local default order configuration window. This is where you can set defaults for this specific montage window. So you can see the exchange we have selected, NASDAQ. So this specific montage window is going to be NASDAQ specific, meaning the defaults that are going to be set for this window are only for NASDAQ traded securities. If you were to select NICE, which I'll show you in a second, it will only be for NICE traded securities. So just something to be mindful of. I'll go ahead and change this to 300. Um, as my default um, quantity of shares. The route, I'll go ahead and select um, one of these ARCSL or ARCSM. Again, these are good, just good uh, default uh, routes to select. If you'd like a full list of routes to choose from and want to know what they are and a price list and things like that, go ahead and just contact us. Um, I'll, for right now, just go ahead and choose ARCSM to select for a, a market trade. And I'll go ahead and click Apply. Using this uh, global default selection here is going to set your defaults to your global default settings that you set through the main toolbar. I'm just trying to change the defaults for this specific window, so I'm going to leave that unchecked for now. And I'll click Apply and Quit. And now when I type in any NASDAQ traded security, such as CGNX, and click Enter, you can see my default settings come up there. So 300 and ARCSN. To have multiple of these windows open, go ahead and just select the montage icon up here, or you can go to trade from the drop down menu and select montage. You can see another one come up there. I'll do the same thing for this one. I'll go ahead and just right click in any of these gray areas, go to order template. I'll do the same thing for this window, but for the exchange, I'm going to go ahead and select NICE. Um, I'll do the amount of shares, 500 is fine for me. Um, and the route, I'll go ahead and choose as the ARCSL. It was already selected. Um, so uh, this window will be for market orders, this one will be for limit orders. I'll go ahead and click apply. Again, do not select this use global default selection here if you were just trying to change the defaults for this window. I'll click apply and quit. And now when I type in any nicely traded security such as GE, you can see my defaults come up there. 500 shares at ARCSL is my, in my route. So just a couple of things to be mindful of when pulling up multiple windows. So one thing to know, one thing to take into consideration is those global default settings and um, local default settings. So like I said before, if you right click in here and go to order template, changing these local default order configurations was only going to change the defaults for this specific window. If you select this use global default right here, it's going to um, use the global default settings that you apply through the main window, and I'll show you that now. So going up here to Setup and going to Order Templates, you can see the global default order configuration pop up. So we have NASDAQ right here um, selected. Um, the amount of shares we can change to 850, 
and the route will change to ARCSM. Now when I click apply, those are my global default configurations. So when I go back to um, the local default configuration here and I check this use global default box, I'll click apply and quit. And now when I type in any NASDAQ trade security, because I know that's my global default configuration. So for example, when I type in Facebook, you can see um, my defaults pop up here, 850 at ARCSM. So just be mindful of when you're setting um, these defaults, if you have this box checked or not, that's what it's going to do. We'll go ahead and close this for now. Um, to have multiple of those open, a lot of traders do like to have some up on their desktop. Um, it can be difficult to arrange them how you'd like to get them outside your desktop. As you can see here, go ahead and right click and just select pop out and now you can move it anywhere on your desktop. You can do that with any window actually through DOS, so just some, something to be mindful of. To get it back in the platform, just right click and go to MDI child and you can see it move back there. So I hope this is a useful video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.